dolls and welcome to my channel. I apologize. I have not been doing videos um, lately. I have been sick for the last month and I am finally feeling better. So, I thought I would do a video on something different than I normally do on my channel. And that is crocheting. Something you can do in your spare time um, as a hobby. Poppy. Are you being a bad boy? That used to be my pillow, you guys. He's a humper. That was my body pillow my dad bought me from Costco's. He got it on sale for $10. It was just the most comfortable, softest pillow in the world. It matched my bed set and in my room and all that good stuff. And Poppy took it over and started ripping holes in it without me knowing. And then I realized and I just gave it to him because by that point he had ruined it. So... It's his now, and he has terrorized it. I'm almost going to have to take it away soon. Just so you guys know, he does not eat the insides. He just rips it out because he's mad. I think he's realized it's not a real girlfriend. So he doesn't ever eat that insides. I would never allow that to happen. He just rips it apart. So, anyways, back to the crocheting. I have crocheted for years now. I started crocheting when I was probably about 23. I worked for seven, almost eight years at a place called Gibraltar Trade Center here in Michigan. It is a flea market type wholesale place. Um, it's indoor. They did have outdoor during the summer also, but um, I worked in the antique marketplace, which was the antique slash vintage part of the place. Um, dealers would set up and sell antiques. I was a cashier there and also a salesperson. My mother and her best friend were my boss. Um, they were my bosses, I should say. Um, my mom's best friend was the manager, and my mom was the, um, what's the second manager called? <laughs> I don't remember right now. I had a brain fart. But anyways, she was below her. So um, I worked there for years, and right across from the antique marketplace, Poppy, stop that, was a store called um, Lace and More. And Lace and More was, they did everything for weddings, for, you know, decorating. It was like a Michael's craft store, but it was inside Gibraltar called Lace and More. And they had started to get yarn in, and they had big sales on it. I'm talking like beautiful yarn, wholesale prices. Um, and I would just look at it like I wish I knew how to crochet. And one day I seen one of my coworkers, who was a very good friend of mine, at the register crocheting. Sorry guys, I had to fix my leg because uh, I was having a cramp. Anyways, she was crocheting and she was making a blanket. And I looked at her and I said, could you teach me how to do that? My mom doesn't know how and I've always wanted to learn and I don't have anybody to teach me. And she said, yeah. Well, <laughs> she was a funny lady. She was awesome. But she, if you were, did not pay attention, she got very upset with you. <laughs> she got frustrated easily is what I should say. But she showed me, instead of the, the single crochet, which would be the first, um, you know, crochet stitch that you learned, she showed me the double, and which is harder to learn than the single, but I picked it up, like, literally like that. I mean, it was just really quick, and I started to crochet, and I just fell in love with doing it. So I went over to Lace and More, and I bought a bunch of yarn, and I actually bought this yarn from Lace and More. Um, they had... You guys, like, oh, I can't even tell you numerous amounts of this yarn. Beautiful colors, just gorgeous skeins of yarn for so cheap. And normally they would be very expensive because this is nice yarn. And I bought tons of it. I had three huge boxes in my apartment. And when I moved, I ended up leaving them. I am very upset. Oh, no, I did not leave them. I'm sorry. What? Yes, when I moved out and moved somewhere else, I left them at that house when I moved out of that house, and I was so mad. I tried to get back in there, and I could not get it. The landlord would not let me in. I was so upset. But anyways, this is what I have left of that. I think I have t two more skeins of this, so three altogether. Um, I had bought in quite a bit of yarn from them. Um, the yarn that I have now, I've had for, you know, years. The last time I have bought yarn was during the holidays last year. Um, I normally tend to crochet more in the fall, in the winter time, because that is the colder months here in Michigan. I do crochet in the summer if I want to get ready presents, you know, for Christmas for family members. Um, but I just recently started crocheting. I started a little bit late. 
But anyways, so yeah, she taught me how to crochet, and then she sold, showed me the single, which was easy to pick up because I already knew the double crochet. And then she showed me the granny square, which I'm not sure if you guys know what the granny square is. Most of you, I'm sure, already know what that is, but I um, don't think I have an example of the granny square. I had a bunch of them made, and I do not know what happened to them because I planned on making a blanket for my mom, and I cannot find them anywhere. I mean, I had probably like 50 of them made, and I just don't know where they went. They're, like, hiding in the house somewhere. But anyways, granny squares are really colorful. They're really fun to make. Now, what I crochet normally, I don't go by pattern. I'm sure I could follow a pattern because I do know all the crochet technology. Um, I know, you know, double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet. I know all that stuff, but I've never followed a pattern. So, for instance, I've never made anything like hats or gloves or slippers or, um bags or you know purses or anything like that um i'm sure i could i just never have tried to follow one um so what i have made is scarves i have made blankets like full-size blankets um big blankets you know excuse me i have made baby blankets i have made throw blankets and i have made um washcloths and face scrubbies um, so that's ten mainly what I've made, um, what I enjoy making. I really would like to learn how to crochet hats and stuff, so I think this winter I'm going to teach myself how to do that, or at least try or attempt. I'd like to learn how to make flowers, because I'd like to crochet some hippie headbands, you know, with flowers and stuff on them. But anyways, um, I'm going to explain the yarn to you guys, or at least show you some of the yarn that I have. Like I said, I have not bought a new skein of yarn since last um, I want to say, yeah, last year during the holidays, um, a lot of this yarn I got from the dollar store down the street from me, and believe it or not, they have beautiful yarn at the dollar store, it's crazy. Like, I found this yarn there, which was only a dollar per skein, they're all a dollar, um, I actually got this yarn from there, really, really pretty, but these are very thin pieces of yarn even this is so what I like to do with thin yarn like this is either I'll make a very thin scarf which I normally don't do that I like them to be warm or I will add this with you know a plain piece of yarn and crochet you know double it up and crochet it like that and then I got it's not in order right now this is usually very organized but I just got done with my scarf not too long ago and I just was so tired when I was done I threw it out put threw it in here and put the top on and just was like forget it I'm not cleaning it up right now because I have all the skeins together um I bought this there so it's called festival yarn um that dollar store has some really nice yarn I believe I got this there beautiful or no I think I got this at Myers because I, I got these most of these at Myers or Walmart um and then I got this which is awesome um it is a very fall, Halloween, festive, you know, colors. Why is, is my light still on? Yeah. Oh, my hand must have been covering. I don't know why that looks weird to me. Hmm. But anyways, I, um, yeah. That's where I got this, and as you can see, it is very festive colors. It almost looks like candy corn. Um, and I bought, like, I think I want to say I bought, like, six or seven skeins of this just because it was so cool. And I do the same thing with this. I double it up with, um, you know, black or orange or whatever. I tend to use black, though, most of the time. Or brown. Um, and I crochet like that. <clears throat> which I will show you, guys. Some stuff I've done. This I got at the dollar store, which I absolutely love this. It looks so pretty in the tassels in the bottom of a scarf, but I'm running out of it. It's just lacy-looking black. It's very pretty. So I have to get more of that. Um... I have feather looking yarn. I have quite a bit of that. This kind. This kind, which is really nice for blankets or scarves. It kind of looks crunched up. I don't know how to explain that. Um, this, which is beautiful. I got it at Michael's, and this is the only... This is how much I have left, and I love this. I It's my favorite skein of yarn that I've ever had. Just really pretty colors in there. And I bought this at the same time, and it was on sale, because it was around the holidays, and it was, I think it was after Christmas, I don't remember. But, um, and then this I got at Michael's, but I only bought two skeins of it, because it was like 8 or $9 a piece, it was really expensive, but I loved it. 
Um, so I have all different kinds of yarn. This right here is 100% cotton. This is the kind of yarn that you use to make washcloths, dish rags, or face scrubbies. Um, and the reason being is because you can wash this and dry it, it you know what I mean just like you would a t-shirt so that's why you can use it to make washcloths and face scrubbies and dish towels and all that you can wash dishes with them if you are a green person and you like to you know uh save the planet or I don't know exactly how to explain that you know what I mean when I say green um it's perfect for you to learn how to do this so you can make your own washcloths and your own dish towels and they work just as good as the ones you buy in the store um, I, in fact, I made all my relatives, all my female relatives last, uh, Christmas face wash scrubbies with a necklace. That's what I gave out for Christmas because I was broke, <laughs> which I'm broke this Christmas too. So I might, I have to maybe make everybody scarves, but, um, I got some fuzzy yarn. Um, I got this at the dollar store. It's really cool. Like, uh, I don't, it's really soft. I don't know how to explain. Here's some more cotton yarn over here. It's like integrated. This is really pretty. I got some red. I did have pink. It's in here somewhere. I don't know. And then I had a, here. Yeah, here's a rainbow one I had, but I'm almost out of that. I used that for a lot of the face scrubbies I made last Christmas. And yeah, so I just have you know different yarns. And here's some really cool soft yarn. It's got like fuzzies on it, I believe. I don't remember where I got that from. My mom bought me some too. Like my sister gave me these. She gave me a bunch of yarn also. So um, down here I got this at the dollar store. This would be perfect for a baby blanket. It almost looks like, I don't know, unicorn hair. It's the prettiest um, skein of yarn and it's so soft. It looks like a cloud. This would be perfect for a baby blanket. Um, right here this is some cool yarn got that from the dollar store so they carry some really nice yarn at the dollar store surprisingly they have all different kinds like I said um that's some cool yarn this I love it's my rainbow integrated yarn but I'm running out of this too because I made a blanket for I made a lot of kids blankets out of these actually um and normally when I'm using yarn like this I ball them up that's why you'll hear stories about older women when they're crocheting or they're knitting balls of yarn the reason you do that is because you just let the ball go on the floor and as you're crocheting or knitting it will just go and go you don't ever have to like pull it and keep pulling it it just goes that's why you ball it up like that so when I had a cat it was hard for me to crochet because he <laughs> wanted to always chase it any cat I ever had oh yeah I got this yarn at the dollar store which I'm running out of and I loved I haven't, like I said, bought any new yarn in a long time because um, I have so much of it right now. Then over in this bin, my sister gave me this yarn. She bought this the same day I bought the green, but she ended up not using it. And then I have a lot of integrated yarn. That means that there's more than one color in the skein of yarn, um, you know, mustard yellow red I bought like all the colors of the rainbow um this is good yarn to have you know uh here's some fuzzy yarn down here that got all tangled that's really fun to untangle um here's very fall colors then I got more different color I believe yep here's the army print like the camel print this right here is fuzzy yarn really pretty colors for the fall also see I did have some cones that you could roll up your yarn on but I only had a couple black you always want to have a lot of black because black is a really pretty complimentary color especially when you're using bright colors you know pink black here's the pink cotton I couldn't find it but I found it now I don't have that much left of that so anyways to start out crocheting the best thing for you to do go to your grandma or whoever you know used to like to do stuff like this and ask them if they have any um, yarn left over. My aunt actually just called me last week and told me she has boxes filled with yarn. She wants me to come over and pick out what I want, so I'm going to go there and do that before I buy anything because I'm sure she's got some nice yarn because um, I plan on crocheting a lot this winter. So then the next thing you're going to need when you want to crochet is obviously crochet hooks. 
I, instead of keeping them in a roll-up, unless I do have a roll-up crochet thing, I don't know where it's at to keep your hooks in. It's like a makeup brush holder, almost like you could use a makeup brush holder, actually. But, um, or you could put it just in a little makeup bag or whatever. But I keep my crochet hooks when I'm not traveling on my nightstand in this little pretty vintage vase my mom gave me. Um, and it's just easy for me to reach over and grab which one I want. So that's where I keep them. They fit and they're perfect. I used to have a ton of crochet hooks. I do not know what happened to them all. I keep a pair of my scissors in there. These are not craft scissors. These are hair cutting scissors. But I'm kind of silly. And I love these. How sharp they are. So I use them to cut the yarn. I do have sharpening tools to sharpen my scissors and I've never had a problem with cutting somebody's hair after I've used these for you're not really supposed to but I don't cut hair for a living I do it on the side occasionally so I don't really worry about it too much but um I did go to cosmetology school and this was the first pair of scissors that I bought myself and they were not cheap but I love them so I use these to cut yarn they cut them very easy I use these for a lot of stuff so I keep those in there they're very sharp though I have actually stabbed myself with those and the tip of this I'm gonna show you guys ah oh, shoot the tip of these scissors went that much into my finger it was bad I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital but I had to work and I just wrapped it up in toilet paper sorry guys I dropped all my hooks I just wrapped it up with toilet paper and I went to work. I had to clean a house. That was not fun. Because I used to do that also. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you guys the different hooks I have in here. Um, oh, sorry, I'm hair everywhere. Okay. Let me set these aside. Starting with the smallest hooks that I have would be these. Um, most people would say that you would use these small hooks for when you are crocheting doilies or lace projects. I do not use these because I normally don't crochet small projects. I keep them in case I'm, you know, I'm sure eventually I'll want to crochet doilies and stuff, but I haven't done that yet. You can use them to, I mean, even if you sew or make your own clothes, you can use those to add crochet features to your clothes, you know, stuff like that. So, I had those. The one, this is a long one that came in a crochet package that I had bought for hooks, and it had a book in it also, with different patterns. And I believe that they use these long ones to make blankets. I'm not exactly sure, because it's kind of looks like a knitting needle, but it's not. It's a crochet hook. It has the um, hook at the top. And this is actually not the biggest hook that I have. This one is a size I. And the biggest one I have is a K, I believe. So I've used this for scarves and blankets before. Then I have, I don't want that to fall over again. This one, which is a K. Yep, this is the size that I use. But it's this one that I use. It's like a purpley, like a lavender color. Um, you could see how big the top of that is. So that's what a crochet hook looks like. You can get a pack of these at Myers or Walmart or Target for I believe five dollars. Um, they're not expensive. They come in all different sizes. This is a J. Um, but I tend to use the biggest one that I have because it's comfortable for me to hold my hand with it and I just I don't know why I like that one the best. So this goes right on my nightstand or on my TV table wherever I may be crocheting. I just have all my stuff that I need right next to me. Um, when I travel, I put them in my crochet hook holder or um, just a little makeup bag. So, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I've made because we're already 19 minutes into this video. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the scarf I made for my mom first. This is the first thing that I've crocheted this, this fall so far. Um, it's very colorful. I wanted to make something that had very bright different colors that you normally wouldn't put together but you'll see how they look together when I show you. Um, it's a very long scarf. It takes me anywhere between six to eight hours to make a scarf this size um, and that's not including including the tassels. It takes me de depending on how long or how many I want to put on here it could take me 20 to 40 minutes to do tassels but it normally doesn't take me that long. I want to say about a half hour. Um, this one didn't take that long because I had bigger pieces of yarn. Um, but anyways, 
uh, so about six to eight hours, and if I'm not working on the project, like, you know, it, from the afternoon until I go to bed, it'll take me anywhere between a day to two days to make one. If I go about my normal day, and then I take a break for three hours, crochet, then take a break, you know, go do something else, and then come back and crochet, I'll say it'll take me about a day and a half to two days to finish one. So if I sit down and really concentrate, I can finish one in you know, anywhere between six to eight hours, depending on the length and the size of it. So this is the one I made for my mom, and I'm going to show you guys when I say that it's long. It's long. Okay. I might have to stand up to show you the full. This is the scarf, in you know, that's folded in half, okay? So fully extended... It's very long. And the reason me and my mom, I make these long like this for me and her, is because we like to wrap them around our necks. Not only does it look stylish, it's warm, especially in the Michigan winter time. Or Michigan winter, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to show you from this end. It starts out with a really pretty rainbow integrated yarn. Goes up. There is five rows of different colors in each yarn, each different pattern. So it's five rows. So, you know, it'd be five, ten, fifteen, it's like that. Um, so it goes up into all different colors. I'm going to unfold it as I show you. Rainbow. Now normally you wouldn't think that these look good together, but when you put them together like this, it's beautiful in my eyes. I don't know, some people's tastes aren't the same. You know what I mean? So, then as you go along, there is the fall colors with the uh, mustard yellow underneath. Orange. Let's see, so this is the scarf I made her. And as you get to the end, I will show you the tassels. I used every kind of yarn that I used in the scarf is in these tassels. It makes it look very hippie, boho-ish, um, gypsy-ish. I just love it. And when she seen this, she cried. She was so excited. Um, and then there's the other side of tassels. So this is the one I made my mom. Very colorful, very long, and she's shorter than me. I'm 5'3". My mom, I want to say, is like 4 foot 9. She's very short, but she likes her stuff long. She's, I take after my mother a lot. We both have the very, you know, very close in the same kind of style. Um, I like boho-ish, hippie-ish stuff. That's just me. So, yep, yeah, that's the scarf I made her. Um... Then I'm going to show you guys the one I made myself, because in making my mom's scarf, I realized that um, I wanted to make it a little thicker, and I was going to remake hers and double up on the yarn, but she told me no, she liked it the way it was, so I decided just to make mine thicker, um, and I will show you mine. This is mine. The yarn's thicker, so of course it's wrapped up a little thicker. But it's, I'm going to show you the length. It's the same process as my mom's, except it's longer. Because <clears throat> I think it's longer. I'm not exactly sure. It's pretty long. I have a king, California king size bed, and it goes off of the king size bed. <laughs> and I finished this in uh, a day and a half. So as you see, it goes all the way up to my pillow. Okay, so I'm going to show you the colors in this one starting from here. And I doubled up on the yarn in this one. There's like the red fuzzies, integrated white with the pretty rainbow colors, orange. Um, here's the rainbow one. In my scarf, there's six, six um, lines of each, you know. So it would be 6, 12. Inside of my mom's, it was only 5. Because um, I wanted mine longer. But I didn't do 6 of this one because it was making the yarn not go even on the sides. So I only did a couple. 
But anyways, you get the green as you go up. And then you see a black. And then you can see the different colors. That is that pretty lace black that I like. And the pink with the rainbow. My favorite yarn from the flea market. Really pretty teal yarn. That really weird, crazy yarn. And I got some fuzzy yarn with integrated underneath. That's the cool thing about yarn. You can switch it up and do whatever you want with it. Use different colors. That is fuzzy yarn with like a beige color. Then you got that. That, which I love. That's my favorite colors right there. Then you got the white. Black. Another of the pretty yarn. And then I'll show you the tassels. They're the same as my mom's. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. Pretty much the same idea. I used every single kind of yarn that I used in the scarf in this. There's two smaller pieces because this yarn got screwed up at the end, so I gotta fix that. But, yep, those are the tassels for the scarf. And then on the other end, the other tassels. So, that's my scarf. So, those are the kind of scarfs that I've made so far. I actually don't know. Hold on one second, guys. Oh yeah, I did have it. I wanted to show you guys this. I made, I started making this. So that was mine and my mom's. I started making this scarf last um, holiday. And I never finished. I <laughs> kind of just forgot about it because I started making stuff for Christmas. But that's what that yarn, that thin fall looking yarn looks like with just using that. It's very flimsy. It's pretty. But then through the scarf I was like, you know, I need some warmth I need some heaviness to this scarf so I started to use black but see how it went from real thin to big and it looked funny so I just I think that's probably why I stopped because I decided to do this all the way through and I because you can just undo when you're crocheting so I don't waste yarn so I made that started to make that there's another skein of the rainbow but it's all tangled and crazy right now I gotta fix that Here's some yarn I couldn't fit. This is the first scarf I started to make. And it just wasn't going right. It was like too small in some areas and it was just looking crazy. So I stopped. And that's when I realized that I had to double up on the yarn to make it look more even. And then this is a blanket I started. I was actually making this for Poppy when he was a puppy. And I never finished it because he became a handful. <laughs> and I couldn't finish it. But that's the blanket that I started for Poppy. And did I use a double crochet? Yeah. I was double crocheting that. So, there's endless amounts of stuff that you can do with yarn. Excuse me. Then I got some more green in there. That sparkly green. I, I know I bought a lot of that because it was cheap. But So that's what you can do when you crochet. Um, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy crocheting. I, this is exactly what I pictured in my mind my scarf was going to look like, and that's what I wanted it to look like. I wanted it to be very boho-ish, hippie-ish, different colors, just, you could wear it with anything type deal in the wintertime. So that's how I made it. So I just wanted to show you guys, um, crocheting is a lot of fun. It relaxes you. Look what Poppy's done through this whole video. Poppy. <gasps> I see you. I'm going to steal it. I'm going to steal it. You better stop eating that fabric. I'm going to throw it away. <gasps> what a bad boy. Alright guys. Anyways, this is 29 minutes and like it's almost to 30 minutes. So I'm going to stop. But I just wanted to show you guys. Um... Let me know down below if you crochet or what kind of stuff you like to crochet and do you find it hard to follow patterns and all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys.